And good afternoon, folks. War Point 3 bringing guys another one. This time here, old Ang Zone. New one. So sit back, relax, and of course, enjoy the show. And thank you for viewing this video. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the icon above, and then of course hitting the bell icon to get notifications when the next video drops. So here we go. All right. This is my old machine right here. So it's about six months to a year old. You can check back in the videos so when I made my original video on this one here and everything else to the end has been serving me well, making me all different types of things. I'll just show you just a, a quick snippet of some, some of the stuff is made. Things like that. And things like this. So basically what have you and everything else of that is a new model has come out. Now, with that new model, of course, you have new things that go along with it and everything else like that. So you want to make sure that you have everything. I, I, I'm, I'm going to test it out for you and everything else like that and tell you, is it good as the old one? Because again, you know, I love the old one. Or is it just not as good? So we'll see. Here we go. All right. Now, this is the old one. Now, I want to give you a top down view of how it looks and with brightness right here and everything else like that but i want to do like this and you can see where it says ang zone now i'm trying to get the light just right there you go you see where it says ang zone and everything else like that? basically it's right here you can see how this one it says emergency stop right here stop switch machine switch again you have your key to turn it off you had your display then you had your light switch to turn on and off the lights. And then this was the power switch that turned basically everything else and off and on. And of course, you turned the key off and everything else. And your controls were like this. Your controls were, laser switch. This was a test. So you hit the button there, the laser beam would fire. And then this display would have numbers to it. So that up to a hundred. And you can go down by 10, go down by one, or go down by 0.1 percentage on the output. Now, I'm gonna open this machine up. And again, you can see I already have a design inside it. I was in the cutting and testing and everything else. You can see mine is well used. Honeycomb and everything else of that. You can see my light is on the side because again, I made some changes to how I wanted to work. And in the inside, you'll notice that there is no, in the back back there, the fan is just open. I took out the, the diverter because that's my style. I need it. Have to do that it will work great without it but again for me the way i work and everything else that i have now again you notice you had cable management you had over here so that your light basically is a beam lit so beam goes down hits where the laser point is you can adjust this back and forth so it can be exactly over the laser then from there you have of course your laser and this was you can take this off but it did not go up and down basically it is with a fixed distance so from your workpiece to where this is was fixed nothing you can do about it so that's the old one okay let's go over to the new one all right now you notice he's still on plastic we haven't taken anything out of it or anything else that we are going to do that right now now you can see now it's different now you see now there's a switch for air so basically if you yeah, you have to have an air pump if you want to use this effectively air your light for your fan again laser test switch now again before it was a button press but it was it was all right but this one is a upgrade you can feel it you know when you hit the laser switch same thing with the test much more higher quality and then you can see the controller has also changed as well it went from a controller look like this with this new controller it has a test 
and an ammeter with a little thing right here that can, you can turn up and down to get to the right thing and you don't go over your amps. The stop button, as you can see, has changed. Instead of it being on the side right here with the thing, so this push the stop right here and of course you have your key and of course you still have your meter. Now the difference is right here, oops, I'm in the way, sorry. Right here, you can actually see a water meter. There's no water meter there. Now I have, um, the Ang Zones cool chiller. So I always knew exactly if the water was flowing or not because it had, again, an alarm on it and everything else to that. So there was no way for me to not to know that there was, the water's not flowing. But if you don't have one of these, and most of you won't when you first get this for that, this is a godsend to let you know your water is flowing. You do not want to use this machine without the water flowing. Okay, let's open her up. Now again, you notice the big styrofoam. And the other thing that you missed, this is how big the glass was before. My fingers width. This is how much bigger the glass has gotten. So you can easily, more easily see your area. The distance going from here to here is also wider than it was on the previous generation. Okay, even better. We open her up. Now, you can see the construction is a bigger ring around it, so it make it easier for you to take this out. There's only four inside here before I didn't take it. That's why I never took the plastic off, because I didn't want to go through all of this, take all of these screws off. So I just, just tore it off the best I can, and that was good enough. I didn't take all the plastic off. Notice that it went from having one um, hinge that this is you pull to remove it. Now it has two. Much better. Also, your device ID is easier to find and see. Another change, right here and here, when it slams, you hear it slam. Here, now it has stops. So it doesn't slam as hard. Another difference is, and this is a safety one right here, right here versus here. This is the door open safety switch. Everything is going to stop if this, you can hear it, is open. Great, all right. Let's see what other changes have been made. All right, we have the same um, exhaust as the old one, okay. Inside of the box. We have, again, the same type of water pump that it has last time with accessories, with the pump, because again, you have to put it in a, um, this is pump in water so that because this has to be chilled at all times with a bucket. So, all right, that's another difference. Bag, now they both came with a bag. Now, you can see the mesh on this one here versus this one here. mesh but smaller now again this mesh here is a much finer mesh than this one this one has bigger openings than this one here has and everything else that another change that you can see is the head the prior head was a fixed position head the new head is no longer fixed position this goes up and down, so you actually have adjustability here instead of having to move the bed around as much. You still might have to use the bed for, again, for rotaries and things like that. But now you have infinitely more adjustability inside of the head. Same on the side. You can see the side head is different. This head here is one part. If you look at this head here, it is two one big two part, that back to this two part, this part here and this part here. Again, still has the safety switch here, still has the other safety switch there. Still has the rails on the side, still oil looking good. So again, very, very good. Now note that on all sides of this, there is no numbers on it to tell you measurements. 
do one measurements are here so this has gone through a radical upgrade from where it was prior to prior to what it is now you have a lot of new things on here and of course it comes inside here with all right now let's see what comes inside of the bag comes with a USB cable instruction guide with common solutions and problems comes with a user manual again I've covered this in last time and the user manual is actually usable and it has changed from the last one. It actually has gotten better. So it, they have listed more information inside of it than it did the last time. Again, you can see because there's a different um, stuff inside of it, they have made changes to the manual. So again, the manual is much better. Safety glasses to make sure that you, you know, if you do operate it without having the lid open, because again, there is a way to defeat that, but you want to make sure you do have safety, safety squints. It does come with quality safety squints, not the, the ones that <laughs> you really can't use, but good, good quality safety squints. We love it. We'll put that back over here. Cleaning for it and everything else like that. And inside the bag, of course, it has all your goodies. It does come with, again, a lift. So if it's small items that you want to do, do for that and you can't get it enough size with this, your lift better. Tape, because again, just in case you need to align the mirrors, Magnets, because again, you need these to make sure that you can actually hold your things down to the bed so you have a proper bed. Enough clips for your water. Allen key, so you can open the doors. Power cord, and of course, silicone. The silicone rubber. So, again, you can see the difference between the one and the two and we'll power it up and make a couple of them. We're going to move, remove that one and just have that one. And we'll come back and make some cuts on it. The later. second part of this. Now I'm going to show a clip of the actual control in action. Now what you're seeing right now, this is me using it at um, 17 milliamps. It actually shows the temperature that it's actually rolling at. So I wanted to make sure you have a clear look at the controls. It tells you when the laser is on, waterproof protection, current flow, and then you can see a close up of the fans and everything else like that. And again, you can see a close up of the laser actually starting to move. And this is what it shows you that the, makes you know that the water is flowing, because again, that's going to twirl around saying, okay, you actually have water flow. If you don't see this moving around and everything else like that, you know you have a big problem. So that's when you don't see it do it, you stop right there. As a continuation of that clip, this is the next part of that and everything else. And again, you're going to actually see it actually burning in action. Now, basically, this is a um, snowflake that I was making and everything else that on extra fast speed and everything else. And this is very thick material. This is quarter inch material being cut, and it was cut in one pass. Didn't need two passes to do it at 17, um, 17 milliamps and everything else that one pass to cut this whole thing out. So that's one section. All right, now you see me, I'm going to play something else. Now, this is another thing that I just cut with the machine and everything else today, and this is heat transfer vinyl. Um, heat transfer vinyl is basically, when you have shirts and everything else that you want to design on it and everything else that, that's what you can cut with heat transfer vinyl. And again, with the settings I have and everything else today, and I've already done it before previously, um to do stuff like this so basically i am cutting out that's going to be made for something that i'm going to use for christmas and everything else today and again this is delicate enough to um, cut something like this right out burning it to death again this is heat transfer vinyl something that you, you again you, if you have a cry cut machine or a cricket machine however you want to say it you can do something like that but if you have the laser you can actually do all of this on the end zones 40 watt easily but just knowing the settings i am going to do a separate video on this so you can actually see how this was done in light burn um and how it was um, cut on this machine but 
you can see right here instead of that it's pretty easy to do if you not have your settings right and you have the the, the boil with all that this machine machine can do it and can do it easily um, strictly for the reason that again since you can move the nozzle up and down you can get it precisely where you want to make your cuts without having a big issue and again Rod, you can see the the image on the screen you, you notice that there's no scorching there's no burning of the thing and everything else that you know everything is working perfectly and this is with the lid closed so the safety the thing is up, up, going along because again you see it just hit something metal and if that safety um door in lock wasn't there and everything had the door open it could reflect back so again that's something you do not want to do again with the larger um screen here so that it makes it easier to make recordings like this the other recording a little bit smaller and again you can see it right here so that um the full thing right here or papa because i wanted to show that this can be done with the machine and how easy it can be done so and i got one more that i can show you again with the ang zones 20 watt laser sorry 40 watt laser it's really easy to do stuff like this again most machines and everything else that is so you're going to burn in too thick or not deep or it's going to be too deep and everything else that you can dial in the settings with this very easily and you can use light burn to do it there's a way around it so you can use light burn to do it as you can see i'm plainly doing it here and again this is something that i was making for my um grandson um it was a puzzle piece and everything else and this is me engraving the back of it so that way there you can see exactly how you, know, you can easily and most people are like oh well you can't really burn this you need a diode laser to do this no you can do it quite easily it's just basically you have to know your settings and have the adjustment just right to do it with again the ang zone laser is doing it pretty well and i'm going to show you a live copy of that in right now so that way you'll be able to see exactly what the, what it looks like when you do it live. Okay. This is the, the, the live section of it. Again, this is the, the back of that when I made it. Now, you can see this is my pinky. Now, this is two pieces that are glued together, but you can see the, how thick this is. So imagine it can burn through a half of this one pass and not a, even at its maximum i use it as 17 um milliamps 18 is the safest that you should use it at you can use it more but you will burn out the bulb much faster but if you use it at maximum of 17 which basically turn down the meter to half this this will do everything you need to do quite easily okay this is the front of it now the pieces, the other pieces are not here right now so that they're in the process of drying somewhere else. But again, I made a puzzle that the puzzle pieces go in. So basically this was cut out. This was engraved in and again, burned it out. All these pieces were burnt out in one single pass at 17, um, 17 milliamps, which is basically half the machine's capacity and the ang zone made a very good machine and this is something that if you want to do it the link will be in the description my name is warp on the three going to say warp out have fun we're going to catch you guys on the next one